Good morning, Hornet Nation, and welcome to The Daily Buzz. I'm Joe Hutzler. Today is Friday. Thank you, Lord. It is September 21st, 2018, and without further ado, let's dive right into what we've got going on this weekend. This segment, of course, called Hornets in Action, and there are a lot of Hornets in action this weekend. We begin with Lynchburg Cross Country headed up north to take on the Hornets from up north at the Shenandoah Hornet Harrier Invitational that begins on Saturday from Winchester, Virginia. Also on Saturday, ITA Regional Championships for Christina Harris on the women's tennis side. She will battle the likes of Mary Washington from Fredericksburg, Virginia. May advance to the championships on Monday. If she does, we will be there to bring you highlights of that. Also this weekend, field hockey is on the road way up north in New Jersey. 3-1 record for Lynchburg, number 13 Rowan, still unbeaten. Maybe that'll change this weekend, starting at 12 o'clock on Saturday afternoon. Also, don't forget about women's soccer heading down the street to Randolph. The Wildcats undefeated early goings of the 2018 season. That game begins at 3 p.m. Men's soccer is on the road, headed south to Greensboro, North Carolina, to the campus of the Quakers of Guilford College. That is Saturday at 6 p.m. You can find the link to watch that game at lynchburgsports.com. Also, as we mentioned, Lynchburg Field Hockey on the road. They're going to make the most of their trip and battle Keen, a team they played a year ago, to a tight one. It was a loss last year. Looking for revenge uh, on the road, 12 o'clock Sunday, right after church. All right, also some club sports uh, going on this weekend. Club soccer and club field hockey will take to the field this weekend. If you're on campus, check those out. And also, uh, it will be both uh, women's soccer and also club lacrosse playing on Sunday here at home. So if you have the ability to get up, grab your food, come on out to Shelly, uh, you can take in some club action for the soccer team and club lacrosse. Okay, let's move on to everybody's favorite part of the show, some campus events. What is going on here at the University of Lynchburg? Today, as there has been for most of the first semester and probably throughout the rest of the year, a reminder about the Brad Brown Bag Lunch. Come and have that informal lunch with staff, students, and faculty in the Flynn Multicultural Center, which is just outside of the Westover. Also, there's a French conversation. We've had Tortulia, which is a Spanish conversation. Now, you can have biscuits, those are your refreshments, by the way. Practicing your French language skills with others who study or appreciate the language. That'll happen in Shul Hall, room 215. Also, don't forget about Commuter Appreciation Week Trivia Night. That is tonight. All of you folks who commute onto campus, whether that be undergrad or graduate students, uh, trivia night for those students from 9 to 11. Prizes, of course, will be given out in Drysdale's West Room, which is on the top floor outside of the CAF. That's it. A busy weekend ahead. And don't forget, you can always catch up with everything Lynchburg Hornets by downloading the One Nation app for iOS and Android devices. It'll be a great device for you to have in the palm of your hand all weekend long as LHSN and the Lynchburg Sports Athletic staff do what they can to bring you everything that you need to know for a great weekend. We'll be back on Monday morning with highlights from the weekend, updates from anything that took place. Also, on Monday, golf starts their uh, Tom Kinder Invitational, which was moved back from this past week. So a busy weekend for them as well. Finally, some rain out of our equation, and we can get back to the task at hand. That's going to do it for today. Until Monday morning, I'm Joe Hutzler, hoping you have a great weekend. And don't forget, it's a great day to be a Hornet. And we are One Nation.